Foggy Blur here. I'm doing a video on how to use a strike editor to upload or change the existing hi-hat settings in the strike editor in order to get more of a loose sound. So I never knew I knew how to do this before. It's not hard at all, but there's uh, Lisa's instructions are not very good in my opinion on these and I haven't found anything on the internet So it's actually quite needed. I think so I'm asking you guys if you guys uh, get anything out of the video just to subscribe to to me here uh, I try and subscribe to everyone that uh, posts on the on the site here and uh, Yeah, just mean a lot, but uh, if you get something out of it, so here we go So the strike editor so you just open up your strike editor mine's slow So that's why it's already open. So here you go to mode first thing you do is you go to instrument editor. Okay, so there's the uh, There are other videos on how it explains how to use the basics on here, so I'm not going to do that So go to your preset instruments. That's the factory ones you go down to the hi-hat you want to select and change the settings on. So here we go. You can pick any of them. So I like I uh, got this tip from William Oliver. I just use the bow uh, sounds on my bow and my edge because the edge sounds are quite harsh. So thank you William for that tip. So I'm, you can take any of them. So here I'm going to take this one. And that's the one I'm going to change the settings on so I get more of a loose, sloshy sounding hi-hat. Right now, with the presets, the sloshy sounds, except for a few exceptions, is a really small um, variation on hi-hat pressure. I'm not sure really how else to explain that right now. So I'm trying to make it so that I don't have, so I have more of a range um, when using hi-hat pressure with my foot in order to get more sloshy sounds. So I hope that makes sense. So here we go. So all you do is you double click it. I'm just picking that one. You can do it for anyone. The BJ Zildjian 13 uh, already has a wider range. And uh, again, my, my module is really slow. Here we go. So this is all it is. I clicked on it, as you can see, you see this hi-hat? You just scroll this down and there are the ranges. Ta-da, that's all it is. It's really easy. So right now, the, uh, these are the, the ranges. So what you do is you just make the adjustments. You want these sloshy open ranges to be bigger. So it's already 126 to 52. Um, so this particular one isn't, um, isn't too bad anyway, but we're gonna make it even more. So you just change this one. That's your fully open sound, so that's the top end 0 to 20 out of 127 um, possible ranges, and change this one to 21. And now you've opened up 0, Okay, so you see that? 0 to 20, it has to be consecutive, 21, and then these are the three different ranges of sounds, up to 126 down here, and then your closed sound is 127. That's it. All, all Now you've automatically include, increased the range of sloshy sounds, in this case, by 30. Um, this one already had a big range. Some of the other ranges are really uh, tight. Uh, where they where this the the open or sloshy sound semi open sound is really small. So this was um, anyway. This that's what this one is. Okay. Next step, you have to save it. So you save it as, and you save it right in your Quick Instruments. That's the easiest way to find it. All right. So here, Quick Instruments. So here we go. Uh, just trying to see. Okay. So I go to my. I'm plugged in, okay, so I've got my USB plugged in. So in my removable instrument, in, this is the the uh, module right here, and then when I plug in the module, this is what pops up, pops up. So these are the three, there's the quick instruments. Okay, I just put it in there. It doesn't matter what you have in there. You might not have anything in there, that's fine. I change the title, so this one I'm gonna change it to, uh, these are paste 15, so just so you can recognize it, new paste 15 inch. Okay, that's it. I'm saving it to my quick instruments. This sometimes takes a while. No, in this case it didn't. Now my settings are saved in here, so it's done. It's in there. Now I just have to sign it. Okay, so I go over here to the kit. This might be a little bit hard to see, and I'm only doing it in one take. So, okay, so here's the kit. Here's the module. You go to voice, right? You do your voice. This is the instrument button. You, you, there's other videos and I figure out how to select instruments. So I'm going to change the bow. It's really hard to see. Sorry guys. Okay, 
So I'm selecting, you have to select the bow, and this is the critical step. Right here, when you're selecting it, you have to select your user. Okay, your user ones. And then you can see up there, using the toggle buttons, there's my 14s I had before, and there the paste 15s I just added. Okay, so there's the paste. I've just selected it for my hi-hat bow. And then, okay, you go back. Actually, we can just click, we can just tap it. And this is the sound. Those are the paste 15s. Tight. Okay, you have to do it for the edge too. So again, user button, paste 15s, it's already selected because it's at the top. So paste 15s, okay, it's on the edge, and it's on the bow. Same sound. And you get a way wider range. This is my tight with my foot fully compressed, and then just a little bit of lightness. I've got my loose hi-hat. i got a huge range of loose hi-hat. I'm just going to do a quick playing example again I'm just taking one take on this just to get this out there finally double bass barely any pressure it's a huge range of sloshing huge range of sloshing That's it. Okay, so it's on there, and the last critical piece, you go back, go all the way out, and then you hit save. I don't want to save this one to this set, but that's what you do. You hit save twice, and boom, it's done. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys get a, got something out of that. If you got anything out of it, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, guys, see ya.